people need excuses not to believe in the church. Well, they got plenty of excuses. You know, you can find that, uh, you know, and this does not help our credibility. I sat down with Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio to hear his reaction to the extensive Pennsylvania grand jury findings that accused the church there of hiding the abuse of some 1,000 children by more than 300 priests over a 70-year period. The lure of details are so horrible. I mean, how could you even think that the church could deal with that and let it go? It looks sound like we just didn't do anything. It's not quite true. Among the hundreds of victims in Pennsylvania is Jim Van Sickle. He says he's still traumatized nearly 40 years after being sexually abused by a priest when he was 17 years old. I think the Vatican and the Pope uh, should be ashamed of himself. Uh, as a Catholic, I always was taught that we're all fallible. Uh, we're all going to commit sin. We were born with, with sin and that our job is to uh, lay that sin at the feet of Jesus and ask for forgiveness, and the church is not doing that for themselves. The report comes on the heels of the resignation of one of the church's most prominent leaders, Cardinal Theodore McCarrick. The prelate stepped down after a church panel substantiated claims against him made during his tenure as a priest in the Archdiocese of New York. The bell curve goes like this, way up and then goes down and tails off, and we're in the tail end. Of, of the situation. The Bishop of Brooklyn points out that these allegations are from the past and says the report neglects to mention the strides the Catholic Church has made and continues to make. Just this morning, the United States Bishops Conference established new goals that include opening new channels for complaints against bishops. It's hard being a bishop at any time, but you know, when you're dealing with this kind of, um, this kind of, these kind of terrible problems that shake the faith of uh, normal Catholics, it's very difficult to know what to do, what to say, and how to support people. In the Diocese of Brooklyn, there are many important measures in place to prevent abuse. The diocese alone spends half a million dollars a year on efforts. The Office of Victim Assistance helps individuals who come forward with allegations. The office provides counseling, referrals for therapy, and other resources. Every employee of the diocese, including students, undergo mandatory training to prevent and identify abuse. Bishop DiMarzio meets with survivors and listens to their requests. And every year, the diocese holds a mass of hope and healing, which they suggested. Michelle Powers, Currents News.